Hi guys, welcome back to another video, Blue Enderman 22 here, and you may have noticed when I'm looking around here, there is a few suspiciously non-Minecraft blocks, and I will just show you, I'm holding a barrier right now, which means that, as you can see, there are no barriers underneath any of these, and what, I know what you're thinking, they shouldn't work. Why is there lava floating in midair? Why is there water floating? Why is there gravel? W what is even going on here? Why is this even possible, you're wondering? And the answer is yes, and I am going to show you how to do that. There's even cool things you can do like this, where they never actually fall if you press the button. Of course, if you do cause a update by placing something next to one of these, they will fall and break, but it's a pretty cool trick to do. I would suggest if you do want to do something like this, building these kinds of things before it gets removed from the game. Uh, I will just say the trick I have doesn't allow you to place two of them next to it, two floating items directly next to each other, unless you do something like this and have a button underneath it, which kind of ruins the whole trick. But, you know, it's very limited these days with this kind of thing. I, Mojang removed the last few tricks they've had that um, worked for this. So this is what you've got now, and I am going to show you just over here how it works. So pretty much... We've got here is doors. They work with any type of door, um, birch, jungle, uh, dark oak, spruce, oak, acacia, and iron. And it allows pretty much any gravity affected block or any block that'll be destroyed if it has the block beneath it removed. Um, so long as it can be placed on an iron door, it uh, allows them to stay floating. And the way this works is you look at the bottom half of the door. So this bottom block just here, um, in the middle here, and if you mine that, then the block above the door will not actually fall. Of course, for, um, if there is a second gravity block on top of this, don't know why, it will cause it to fall. I can demonstrate that now. If I grab out some sand, and I was to grab out a door, now if we were to put the door back and put a second sand block on top, this would not work because it updates the sand above it and updates the sand above that, and then that one causes it to fall, I believe. Not sure. I'm assuming that's how it works. This is all me guessing here. Um, but this does work with things like gravel, many different colours of concrete powder, all the different types of doors, and things like carpet and anvils, and to my surprise, even item frames, signs, banners, you can do cactus on top of a carpet, and I was really shocked with this one, but it actually works with liquids as well, you do still need to have a block at either side, but you know, you might want to have an elevator where you can just, oh, that was flying, you might want to just have an elevator where you can jump through the roof like that, never know. Okay, but sadly this method does have a few flaws, such as, like I've said, you can't build two of them next to each other, or one on top of each other, which makes it Incredibly difficult to get a floating platform. In fact, practically not possible. There are is a method I have discovered, which is such as placing a few blocks like this, putting oops, one more there, put all of your doors on top of them, and then if you were to place your gravity blocks, such as sand, on top of this won't work um, for getting a platform of like anvils or anything, it only works just like concrete anvils and um, concrete gravel and sand, but if you were then to place redstone on top of that, you would be able to stack it up like this and get a fully floating platform if you broke the doors outside first and then slowly went towards the inside, making sure not to update them all, and there. And like that, it is kind of floating, it's a bit cheaty, I personally don't um, like it that much, but if you needed it for a trap purpose, something like an update like that, surprisingly didn't actually update it, but if you would update it like that, the whole platform would fall down. Uh, possibly useful in traps, there's easier ways though, so... Um, most useful thing, part of this, is probably all of these wacky things you can do with it like this. Another thing I have managed to discover you can do with this is a basic kind of elevator. It's not very efficient. You might want to uh, of elevator design. Ah, sorry about that. Not the most efficient of elevator designs um, by far. It is a single use and it only goes down. But if you are, um, it might be useful for dramatic effect or something, depending on where you're building it. 
uh, might want it like blue concrete powder running down the face of a waterfall or for whatever reason. Um, you never know. But basically how this works is you start from the, build something like this, and starting from the top doors, you will break them um, downwards until you get to the bottom. And like that, it only goes down, so you do need to be at the top to use it. But when you're at the top, um, you probably would have placed a button on here before, or you can just put a button down, in which case you will just fall like that. And I tested that in survival once, it didn't kill me. Not sure if it will kill you, um, if it is possible to die doing that. I personally wouldn't trust an elevator like that, though. Um, if you guys happen to find out any more tricks like this though, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'd um, be happy to maybe make a few more videos about this kind of thing and show off a few more things you could do with this. But for now, that is all I've been able to come up with that you can do with this. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Oh, by the way, you can build a platform if you do um, it like this, and as I've said, and have the buttons beneath them because then like it won't fall because the buttons touch to the sand and the sand is um, on top of the button so it will never fall um but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful uh this is in version 1.14.1 of minecraft bedrock edition by the way on the ios version not sure if it works on the other versions of minecraft bedrock like always i just assume it works on them too um yeah um I will see you guys all next time. I will possibly pin out, if I get to time to, won't figure out when this stops working, I will leave a pinned comment telling you if this doesn't work. And apparently the cactus still grows when it's on top of the floating sand. But yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you all later. Have a good day, or night, or morning, or evening, depending on where you are. Um, thanks for watching, and bye!